burn my textbook for me? Back in the last century, a friend, high school senior at the time, went to Florida for spring break with a group of his friends. During the weeks before break, the group decided they would burn their school-owned physics textbook on the beach. One of my friend's buddies was unable to go to Florida, but wanted to participate in the textbook burn. So he asked my friend to take his textbook to Florida and burn it for him. My friend readily agreed. On the evening of the burn, my friend threw his buddy's textbook in the fire while his own textbook sat safely in his school locker. No one in Florida realized it wasn't his own book and at the same time he complied with his buddy's request. And he didn't have to pay for a lost textbook at the end of the year like his buddies did, either. Reminds me of the day the dot-com company I worked for went under. No warning. Just leave your laptop on your desk and leave. If you don't leave it, we'll hunt you down for it. I watched a co-worker leave his on his desk, and then take the one off the next desk and walk out. One simple trick most book burners don't know. Using that word, friend, rather fast and loose here aren't ya. Your friends are idiots. That's, just compliance? Out of curiosity, what did they think would happen? Long term, I mean. Back in the last century stumbled my brain. Back in the last century, I was a high school senior as well. That really drives the point that I'm old. Ty, I need a nap now and I'll finish reading your story later. If I remember where I left my phone. Not really malicious compliance, is it? I'm going to remember this at my next book burning. Just like when John Kerry threw someone else's medals over the White House fence. Cool story bro. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.